Is there an evolutionary benefit to being offended or being offendable? I can think of nothing else in the universe that is offendable, only us humans. I do not use, no, I do not see any benefit to this attribute, but maybe I'm missing something. If it is indeed a net negative, perhaps instead of trying to eliminate everything considered offensive, humanity should indeed instead strive to become so offensive that people are no longer <laughs> offendable. Would love to get your thoughts on this. So I'm going to let you riff, but first I will say uh, with regard to anything else in the universe um, being offendable, um, other primates get offended. You can you can see this, um, like baboons and certainly the other apes, um, when uh, when there's a breach of the hierarchy or of the food sharing rules or, or, or some such. And because we are so closely related to them, we can see this in their sort of shared facial expressions. And as such, I imagine that, although it would be less hard to, t less easy, It'll be more difficult to tell um, with organisms that share uh, fewer of our sort of social cues, but some of the other long-lived generational overlap, social long childhood organisms like elephants, like wolves, like dolphins, like parrots, like crows, I'll bet give and take offense. But you know, what would how would you know in a dolphin? I don't I don't know. You know, we've known people who spent time studying the social behavior of dolphins and maybe they would know, but certainly it wouldn't show up the same way as it does on us because they have a different um you know, we, we have we have a most recent common ancestor with dolphins that's a long way back and before we ended up with um, quite so many of the facial muscles that we have. Yes. I know there's a good joke in how would you know if a dolphin was offended, but sure. I, yeah. I, I am not quick enough on the draw today. Um, all right. So, so you know, you get to the meat of the question. Right. Well, yeah. let me just say, yeah, you're right about uh, other primates showing offense. Slow lorises in particular yeah, are it, very quick to anger in many circumstances. It's, it's amazing they actually managed to petition to get the name slow loris. It's, it's sort of a, it's a bait and switch. You, you meet <laughs> one, you're like, wow, that was... I didn't expect that from you, slow loris. Right, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah so, we actually have not been lucky enough to meet any slow lorises. Lori. Lori. Lorax? No, that's a different thing. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, obviously offense is adaptive. It passes the adaptive test with flying color. I will say, obviously, it is it should be presumed to be adaptive. It could be a byproduct of something that is adaptive, but clearly adaptive evolution built it. And given its nature as a cognitive phenomenon, it would be so easy to purge it from a person and you would get a lot of advantage out of not being offendable. So clearly the advantage of being offendable must outweigh the advantage of not being offendable, otherwise it would go away rapidly. Mm -hmm. So what's the, what's the point? Well, all emotions are a proxy landscape for uh, calculations about what one should and shouldn't do. In other words, the sum total of all the calculations of your perception of where you are socially, environmentally, and all the rest gives you a guide for how to act, right? You find something, you know, uh, tantalizing and you go towards it and you find something horrifying and you recoil and um, that's how we function, right? We, we are not automatons. We function based on sort of comparison of these values and they lead us to overcome our fears or to you know be dominated by them or, or however it works but the point is offense is part of a calculus if you're talking about offense not like an offensive smell but if you're talking about being offended at somebody's comment for example then what you are doing is you are creating something in the neighborhood of an imagined uh, debt, right? When somebody offends you, what it means is something beyond, I disagree with what you said, but I am troubled by the implications of the fact that you said it, right? So, um, you know, a racist comment, for example, may indicate that somebody harbors a belief system that, I don't know, imagines that they're Population has inherent superiority, right? So you would take offense at it. And the point is that offense, then uh, I think the point of offense is a bit durable. <coughs> when you say you are offended, what you mean is five minutes from now, this is not going to have vanished because time has passed. The point is I'm actually noting that and I'm making a kind of permanent note that it is an indicator of something. And it might be that it takes three or four such notes to really realize, yeah, this person does have a defective model in their mind compared to what I think reality looks like. After a certain number of iterations, you go from I'm offended to I think you're offensive, at least to me. 
Yeah, you do. And the point mm -hmm. is that it just your context. Maybe the point is, well, I'm hardly going to trust this person with such calculations, or I don't think they can be trusted with power or resources or something like that. But anyway, it, it's part of an accounting scheme is the basic point. And it is a, it, I think it has a connotation of durability, which suggests that this is not a momentary. It's not like, um, you know, when somebody bumps into you on the subway, right? You're not offended. They may in fact have been callous, but the point is it's a very temporary thing. Mm -hmm. Offense is, is durable inherently. And I mm. think that indicates something about it.